morning guys, it's day 2 in Fukuoka Well, we arrived late last night so I'm not really sure if you count that as the first day So this is our first full day A lot of you have been telling me that when you travel, you actually prefer using the card that GCash issues. Mine is a GCash Visa card. A lot of you also have the GCash MasterCard. Anyway, this is the preferred travel card. It has the best foreign exchange rate. It gives you a better bang for buck. And I've never done this before. I've always been using my traditional BPI credit card or my BDO credit card. So this is what I'm trying to explore today. Does the GCash card really give you better bang for buck with a better foreign exchange? I'm going to be using my BPI and BDO credit cards and comparing the exchange rate. And just as a bonus, I'm also going to be comparing this to the foreign exchange money changer. Yesterday, I got this from the airport. I got my money exchange at the rate of 1 peso is to 2.21 yen. When I googled it, it was 1 peso equals 2 pesos and 60 yen. So. Um, let's see, was that actually good? Um, again, we're going to be trying to use GCash and credit cards and we're going to be comparing which is really the better option when you go visit here in Japan. So let's go and see. Anyway, yesterday, I used the three cards that I'm comparing. Now, for the initial results, I used my GCash Visa card for a fee of 2,400 yen. This came out to 922 pesos. So that's an exchange rate of 2.60 yen for every peso. So unfortunately, even though I've used my BPI and BDO credit card yesterday, they are already posted but not yet reflecting the exchange rate. So I'm not able to give a full comparison just yet. What I'm able to compare is the Booking.com charge from the other day on October 6th. So there is a bit of a disparity here based on the different days that it was made. So for my charge of 19,494 yen was charged to me at 7,732 pesos. So this comes out at an exchange rate of 2.52 yen for every peso. So for this first round that Again, not all else equal, GCash is winning so far. Again, 1 peso equaling 2.60 yen. So, so, so far so good. Again, let's see today if this will hold true. Hey guys, so it's been six nights and seven days here in Fukuoka. As promised in my intro, I've been using my GCash card versus my BPI and BDO card. As mentioned earlier, I actually did this when we arrived on October 8th. So there are three transactions that I did. So for dinner, I spent 5,750 yen at Yuki Yakoni Kubar. So for that dinner, the peso equivalent came out to 2,274 pesos. So for my BDO card, that's one peso equals 2.52 yen. So amongst the three, unfortunately, BDO would be at the bottom of this. Let's move on to second place. So after dinner, we went on a konbini run. We went to 7-Eleven to buy some snacks. We spent 836 yen. So the peso equivalent of this was 327 pesos and 28 centavos. This comes out to 1 peso equals 2.55 yen. 
So with this, I used my BPI credit card. So I'm using a BPI Visa signature card. And then we move on to the winner of this experiment on October 8th. So when we arrived at Hotel Live Max, Hotel Life Max Nakasu. So we had to pay local taxes of 2,400 yen on top of my booking on booking.com. This came out to 922 pesos and 50 centavos. So this comes out to 1 peso equals 2.60 yen. So amongst these three, the Gcash card would give you the best conversion. So just as a little bonus here, there are actually shops that don't allow credit cards. There are shops that would allow Alipay so you can use your Gcash app when you are in these shops. I tried it also in 7-Eleven. The conversion between your Gcash card and your Alipay is a little lower by 3%. So more or less, when you use Alipay with your Gcash app, it's going to be similar to the BPI conversions. More or less, the BPI conversion is lower by 3%. And just as another bonus, I actually tried withdrawing through an ATM. So with the ATM withdrawal, the conversion was 1 peso equals 2.46 yen. So this is still actually a lot better than the foreign exchange that I got through the airport. So with that, let's wrap this up. Again, for the best bang for your buck when you are on these trips, number one here would be using your Gcash card. Number two, the BPI credit card and the Gcash Alipay option on your app. Third, unfortunately for BDO, BDO credit cards at third place. This wasn't part of my original video, but ATM withdrawals are actually an option for you too. And the fifth on this list, I always grew up thinking that having your money changed would give you the best value, especially in airports or banks. But in this case, it was just really not a good option. Unfortunately, you can't completely go cashless here in Japan. There are a lot of areas that you still need your cash. So you would still need to convert some of your cash or withdraw it. So what do you think about this comparison? Um, have you used your Gcash card abroad? Is it easy? Is it seamless? If this has been helpful or you want to see more of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and enjoy wherever you are.